Hello guys, welcome to Veteran Noobs and I'm Crazy Quiet. Today we'll be looking into the Soul Terminal to automate our crops. So I've set up a little bit of a crop farm with a Soul Terminal in the center. We're here on the Architects cluster server, so if you'd like to join, just join. I'll put some inf the information on the description. So it's put down, so you'll need to craft it at level one. As you can see, if it's on your server, it can be crafted at level one. You need some soul balls and a soul gun to trap the dinos. Once they're trapped, you need to add your dinos. In this case, you need dung beetles, I'll add two dung beetles and some animals to generate poop for the dung beetles. Dung beetles will convert poop into fertilizer and then you need poop to there. So Fiomi can also work. Next up the settings. Go into your options and automation. So you need to activate that the dung beetles should convert poop. So that needs to be activated. You need to generate the poop for them to activate. And passive generation is when dung beetles produce poop, they also produce oil. And that passive generation oil, you also want to collect that. Malicious poop is stuff like uh, owl pellets, in this case we're not doing that, but uh, crystals, that kind of stuff. Next up you can set the amount of poop that needs to be collected. So as you can see we've got uh, 300 slots here. So we'll set I don't want human poop I don't care about small poop at the moment we'll do medium I'll take let's do 25 25 25 so that leaves us with a lot of space and then fertilizer pellets, no pellets here, and then fertilizer, let's have it at 100. And then, how many fertilizers per plot? So, don't fill it up completely, you can have a look, it takes 30, 20, 30, 20, 20 30. So 20 is the max on the smallest one, so we'll put it to 18. And the reason I do that is just to make sure that there's seeds left for replanting and f there's space for that. Right, so that is that part set up. So now we wait and for the animals to start pooping and the dung beetles to start converging that. You'll notice I just placed different types of crop plots just for the sake of this video. So I've got uh, normal S plus and then the seeming seamless ones. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is uh, the S plus aggregator has got a bug or something where it can't place fertilizer or doesn't properly place fertilizer in the seamless crop plots. And for this reason, I'm, I've put all of them, different, all the different ones, to actually showcase and see what this does and whether or not it places in all of them. In 
they should start producing poo. All is in, all is right, everything's set to go. Right. And the first poop has been collected and the conversion has started. Right guys. So I'll cut away now and then we'll come back in the morning and see exactly what is going on here. How far, how many has it done. Hi right, guys, so we back after a couple of hours. And as you can see, the distribution of the fertilizers that went into all the plots. So there's no issue with distribution to seamless plots. In these three I had some seeds, though they germinated and grew and they are ready. And also they are ready for harvesting. For harvesting, to automate that, I use the gardener. Let's place her. So you can use the aggregator, but then you need a tech generator. Uh, she can also work on the tech generator, but if you don't have that yet, you can use beer. So she can use beer and then she can actually start using collecting. So we've activated her and she should collect. She has the options. Uh, we where you could ignore or destroy certain stuff. So if you don't want the seeds, you can just pull the uh, fruit or the veggies and uh, that's it. So let's just wait and see how long she takes. Okay, she picked it up, so you can see she picked up three seeds and 122 sever root. That's what we planted here. If you look in the crop plots, now it's empty, none of that's available. So new seed will be generated and new. This will prevent the crop lot from becoming full and you can just pull from her. I hope uh, that little video helped you a lot. Uh, to get beer you will need to set up a beer barrel. And cementing paste, metal ingots and wood. Or if you're on our server, you could just buy beer from the points you earn for playing. There you go. And we can just add that in there. Thanks for watching guys, like and subscribe.